Nobody wants to have a disaster happen to their home or their business. It doesn't matter if it's a fire or a flood or a tornado. These things do happen. And when they do, Phoenix Renovation and Restoration is here to help. I think one of the things that we understand uh, here at Phoenix is how devastating an insurance loss can be for an insured. Um, not just monetarily, but emotionally. I always have a saying that what we do is not just contracting. It's part contracting and part psychology. The difference between Phoenix and other restoration companies is the people that work here. Um, I see it every day. It's amazing the personal level of dedication that they give. Uh, and everyone knows that it's our job to get normalcy back to these people's lives as quickly as possible. Early Thursday morning, a janitor discovered the school ablaze. The fire heavily damaged five classrooms. This morning, workers will be scrubbing down a school to make sure it's safe enough for kids to go back to. Cleanup crews and teachers are working around the clock to reopen and elate the school that was burglarized and set on fire. Crews are hard at work trying to get a fire damaged school in Olathe already. For we received the call on a Thursday morning for the Green Springs Elementary fire from the facilities manager for the Olathe School District. And we were actually on scene at the school. Uh, before the firefighters had even released the scene. We were able to assess the damage and put our plan in action. The fire occurred on a Thursday and fortunately for the school district, uh, school was not in session on Friday. We were able to get the students back in the school by Tuesday, only missing one day of school, which considering the damages to the building was truly remarkable. So how were we able to pull all this off? It was no accident. Organization is critical in this type of situation, uh, and that's where Phoenix excels. The first thing we did was draw an outline of what needs to be done and in what order. Uh, once that defined plan is in action, we divide and conquer. As the project manager on this job, it is my job to make sure everybody is doing what they're doing and not getting in each other's way. It's kind of like directing a symphony. At Phoenix Renovation and Restoration, we have dozens of partners that we've worked with for years, and they understand the urgency that it takes to get these properties put back together after disaster strikes. From plumbers to electricians, roofers to heating and cooling vendors, the work is orchestrated for maximum efficiency. Ryan assembled a team of 150 people who worked around the clock to clean and repair Green Springs Elementary. From replacing the ductwork to ceiling tiles, every square inch was cleaned, swept, wiped down, replaced, and renewed. Having someone there to field the questions regarding the health, the safety, the air quality, and scheduling, and many more things just gives everybody uh, a peace of mind of what's going on when sometimes it feels like a war zone. The actual wing of the building, or what the school calls the pod where the fire originated, was able to be blocked off, and the school was able to relocate classrooms to the auditorium and to some unused classrooms. And on Tuesday morning, with only one day of missed school, school was able to resume. The school's principal first saw the disaster within hours of the fire being put out and couldn't imagine a return to class this quickly. Kind of surveying the damage and looking around and I just didn't see how it would be possible. But every day that I came back in and I came back each day to check progress, it just looked better and better. At Phoenix Renovation and Restoration, like the legendary bird we're named for, we take great pride in helping people return from the ashes, better and stronger.